Anderson and I'm with the Alice Connection. I'm the president of the board at this point. Um, the Alice Connection, I'll just give you the, the story. The Alice Connection is the largest Alice Chalmer collector group in the United States with almost 800 members. 28 states, uh, Canada, uh, Europe, and Australia are all represented. This is our 29th year in, of shows and the 29th year of the uh, Alice Connection. We used to be just down the road where the uh, Farm Progress Show was held for several years. And then we moved uh, south to another little Amana community and were there for several years until we outgrew that. Then we came to this beautiful park uh, the Amana colonies have really jumped up to help us, especially this year. This COVID thing has it's been a mess for everybody. My, my little bit of politics there. Um, this is my one of my tractors. It's the uh, it's a 78, 7,000 open station, maroon belly. One of the last, the last year they made them, that is indicated by the larger decal and the different instrument uh, panel that's on the tractor. Uh, we've done some customizing over the last year. We put a different front end under it, a heavier duty one. Put the weights, the, the weights on the front, and put taller tires on the back. They were 34s, now they're 38s. It's just something that we do and play with. My son's got a 7,000 and a 7010. He's still farming with them. And uh, like I, we're from, uh, like I said, we're we're diverse. We're in 28 different states. I'm from Illinois. Uh, one of our directors, two of our directors are from Missouri. Another one from Illinois. We've got one from uh, Minnesota, and uh, one from two from Iowa.
I'm Larry Mayer from Jeffersonville, Ohio, and my family and I brought out the 34WC, serial number 45. I bought it 35 years ago from a man that redone it. He parted seven different tractors to get all the correct oil pan, the right radiator, the right rear wheels, the right, the original tires are on the back of it. All the equipments, his, he had, he, his, he had a piece of literature for that tractor. His dad was a dealer back in the day and his dad sold one of the Waukesha WCs. And so he put, built this tractor with the original literature and the price book and stuff and he knew all the details. The only thing he says on it that's not 100% correct is so an oil filter. It's got a mason jar on it, but it's not the right size. I oh, know they had some kind of canister, didn't they? So the later one's had a canister, but this one here is supposed to have some kind of a jar on it. But that's the only thing that he said was not original to that serial number of tractor. And the tires are really bad, but they're the original tires that for 34 model tractor, so that's why we've left them on there. But it starts and runs. It was wet this morning to run, but it wouldn't stay running very long, so we just pulled it over in a row. But it's, it was restored 40 years ago by the guy. His name was Harold Manifold from around St. Paris, Ohio. Interesting last name. Yeah. So I knew the man and met him and saw the tractor, and then I got a postcard one day in the mail that he was going to have a sale in a couple of weeks. And he, at the sale after I bought the tractor, we got to talking to him, and he was going in the hospital on like a Tuesday after the sale to have heart surgery, and he never come back out. So, but he, he told me then at the sale that he had a briefcase full of information about that tractor, the, where, it come, where it was sold new around east of Columbus, Ohio what tractor the wheels come off of, the, this and that. And the, he had the original literature and he had a price book for that tractor all in a briefcase. And after he's passed away, well, I'm sure the family has it or didn't know what it was and pitched it or whatever, but it would have been really interesting. I got a, I contacted one of the neighbors later to went to school with the girls to see if they, they could find a, just, I'd like to look in it and see what it was, but I never did hear anything about it. So, I don't know what else you say about it. What have your collection? We have about 200 tractors in our collection, all colors. Mo majority of them are Alice. We got uh, 612 Alice, and we go clear up to 4W305. We got serial number 18070 and serial number 14W220. We've got 220 front wheel assist. We got 210s, 220s, Wheatlands, three points. High crops, we got all of these high crops, uh, 170, five high clear, um, 70, 45 run, but a parts tractor with a high crop, 8,000, 80, 10 or 80, 30, I forget what it is, high crop that we're in the middle of restoring now. So we got a little bit of everything, but we're all colors, but mainly Alice. My dad was an Alice dealer back in the 50s and 60s. Well, thank you for the interest. M A Y E R. We're an ag co dealer in Jeffersonville, Ohio, so oh, okay. we're, we're still in the business.
Well, I'd like to thank you for joining us for this uh, trip to the Alice Connection. Right? Okay. And uh, it was a nice little show, and we appreciate the the warming welcome they gave us. Had a had a fan reach out to us. That was pretty nice. Talked to him for a little while. And I hope you enjoyed what you saw. I particularly like this Open Station 7000. I think it looked pretty nice. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.